Hello everyone, and today we are going to solve this problem uh, in which an object is uh, sliding down on an inclined plane uh, of inclination theta. The given in this problem are the acceleration due to gravity, and the angle of the inclination, and also the fact that this inclined plane, this ramp, is smooth, so therefore there is no friction. And we are looking to determine the acceleration. In order to solve this problem, we divided the equations part of, of the solution into x and y, and we are going to apply Newton's second law of motion. f net x and f net y. Newton's second law of motion says that f net equals m times a. However, our object does not accelerate on the y, therefore f net y will be zero. Uh, it does accelerate on the x, so therefore f net x will be m times a. Uh, in order to continue with these equations, we have to remember that f net is the vector sum of all forces, therefore we, might, we must consider the positive directions. And I chose positive to be down the ramp and up, the way you see it over here, clearly marked on the free body diagram. Now we can continue with developing these equations. For f net y, we are going to have two forces, as you can see. One of them is going upwards, the other one is going downwards. So the vector sum of these two forces must be equal to zero. The one going upwards is going to be a positive normal force. And the one going in the opposite direction is going to be a negative mg cosine theta. When we simplify this vector equation to get our scalar equation, we're going to end up having n minus mg cosine theta equals 0. For the x equation, we have f net x equals m times a. But on the x, we only have one force, mg sine theta, and it's positive, so therefore we have positive mg sine theta equals ma. Um, looking at this equation and uh, simplifying it, we don't really need a positive anymore here. We can just rewrite this mg sine theta equals ma. Divide both sides by the mass that wasn't given, so we have to get rid of it, uh, will end up giving us the answer for A equals G sine theta. So it looks like for this kind of problems, no matter what the mass of the object is, the acceleration will only depend on the angle of inclination. Again, remember this is a smooth ramp when friction is neglected. Thank you.